hello, hello, Mike Jack 1212 to Legit City on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? To Legit City here, getting back into the uh, Green Mamba. Y'all know what it is. Getting back into the Forced Asteroid, and of course, we're looking to go into some deep space today. We're gonna try to visit some asteroids, maybe drop off some rovers, and of course, we're gonna want to get some rad bolt rocket engines up and running. Now, we do have a little bit of unperishable food. We might make an early trip before actually getting the berry sludge. And that being said, I have a lot of berry sludge as well. So, it's, uh, we'll see what we'll want to do today. And we got the Mamba on camera today. He's in a good spot. Let's see if I could adjust this a little bit. The Mamba's is napping away. And of course, Uglarvisk, I see you over there. Ghost Rider coming in with the four months on that four month streak. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the city. Enjoy the emotes D20 dice ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. But thank you so much for the support. So, it's, uh,. It's a weird time, but I think we're going to be able to start easing back into the YouTube generation. Uh, what I mean by that is content generation. You know, you guys might have noticed that I've only been releasing VODs recently. Been uh, pretty busy in the real life with uh, a lot of the things, but I think we're going to be coming back. So that's, of course, going to be a good thing. Figure you're busy, no worries too, we'll see. Yeah, man, it's it's tough sometimes. Hey, Levius, I see you over there. What's going on? Coming in with the six months on the six month streak. What a legend. Hello again. Hello, hello. How are you, Levius? Enjoy the emotes. D20 dice ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. But how are you doing? How is these Tuesdays? Hope you're doing all right, man. And looking at this, I have no more water feeding into here. And it actually seems like it's going to be fine. My oxygen's at 300 kilograms. I'm probably just going to leave that be then, because we have way too much hydrogen. But how's everyone in chat today? I see you guys over there. Thank you so much for the support. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a uh, good week so far. And I'm going to be looking to get back into the uh, Oni grind. Hopefully get some uh, new content for you guys. I have some videos that I've been uh, having some ideas for. But I do got to set up. And ooh, we needed that, huh? Okay, so mine both of those. Probably do something like that. And then I could probably start mining this. We'll need to do something with the water, yeah, it's fine. Alright, so... No idleness, that's good. I think everything is working fine. The design for the submerged water... A spawn is actually perfectly okay. The rusty oxidizer for us to generate iron seemingly is fine as well. Pushing out some more iron. The O2 is nice, we're really just utilizing it for a little bit of cooling. For the uh, research reactor. And having a lot of it's kind of nice. The chlorine I may eventually, you know, do something with. Oh, I need to bot my locks here. <laughs> I didn't notice, but the oxygen here was uh, heating up the crude oil a little bit. I don't want that. So we're going to crush some of the gases to create a vacuum. That way it's going to be a little bit easier. For us to maintain the temperature. And let's see. This was dropping off water. Polluted water back into the system. So that we could stockpile the amount. It's actually warming up a little bit. Which isn't too bad. As long as it's still negative. 
and then these fridges over here, I believe were where we're gonna put some of the unperishable foods. So I'll probably get build a couple more. And then this one is gonna be specifically the berry sludge. And then we'll have one doing the other non-perishables, because we're not gonna have a lot of them. So hexalent, nutrient bars, swamp chard, muckroot. I think that's it, right? Everything else perishes. That's also max priority. And then of course, we're going to have to uh, deconstruct the box. The salinator is fine with the salt. There's a little bit of heat right here. I'm actually kind of impressed. Because that's probably coming from the iron. I may want to actually cool that down. We'll have to see. And then all of the clay right here, man. I need to make a, like ceramic on forever. <laughs> like honestly, I think I should just do that. No, I'm gonna do it by 99. Yeah, there we go. And it's mostly because I, I don't trust myself. I'm gonna crush uh, some of that. This is gonna be 25. Ran at the sand. We don't need to do the other ones yet. Table salt's still pretty high. How much rust? What's the ratio of that? I've actually never looked at it. It's 3 to 1. Okay. So you need 250 salt for 750 rust. So that's cumulatively a thousand. So I should look at 41 tons and 60. Oh yeah, we're crushing salt. Nine to nine. So that's gonna be kind of nice. We have our new power strip right here as well. And I might want to reroute a little bit of power today. We'll have to see what we're gonna want to do. This line, although it has power consumption on it with a lot of potential, it's not really that active. The cooling loop for the sleep wheat seemingly is all right. And it looks like we're going to be slowly converting in the sweetles. So let me lower this to priority one, do that. And we'll move some of these guys. We have space for two, we'll wrangle them. And then I think everything else seems to be okay. Alright, so our kitchen, I hate to say this, man. Our kitchen is boring. <laughs> our kitchen is boring, you guys. Holy crap. Not only that, I think I need to break into a lot of the biomes down here today, especially the ice one. I don't want to do it, but it's the only way we're going to be able to consistently get rid of the carbon dioxide. Uh, not that I need to open up the cold energy, it's just that it's going to be better that way. So, we are going to... Do we have this on uh, allowing sleet weed again? We should. Because we're able to actually start cooking the sleet weed now. So hopefully they'll be storing the grains. These are all wild planets, fine. And I don't want this area to freeze. I mean, uh, warm up. Although we probably have to crack into this eventually. There's a lot of sleet wheat there. Deep freeze. 2% from the normal atmosphere. Hmm. We could just allow that. Boring? Wait, what? What do you mean, Oglarvisk? Yeah, man. There's no decorations here. It's, it's, it's so plain. I need to get some... Uh, I need to get some uh, paintings or something. The kitchen? No, 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 the, the, the mess hall, dude. The mess hall. I guess I call this the, the kitchen, my bad. I have nothing here. <laughs> if you have, do you have pixel packs unlocked? I do. Could do red, white, checker pattern, like at a diner. Mm. Kitchen part, gotcha, gotcha. So let's see. Can you put pixel pack behind um, paintings? Is that a thing? That's a thing, right? Oh, that's furniture. My bad. Oh, that costs glass? I guess it's fine. Would be dope. You can. Okay, that's cool. I might want to check that out. I'm going to use the aluminum. Aluminum. 
Uh, yeah, I'll use it. I have a lot of aluminum anyways. It's only 25. And I'm out. Alright, so that's fine. So that means we need to make glass today. I have a lot of sand, so let's make 50 of these. Would be dope. Hi, Buzzley. I see you over there. Cthulhu as well. Hope you guys are doing well today. This guy is taking a narcoleptic nap. Oh, he's narcoleptic? Dude, what a travesty. What a travesty. He's actually narcoleptic. Feels bad, then. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Alright, hopefully the person that mines this does not jump up to the ledge because he's going to die. And then I believe I needed to sieve the uh, the water here at some point so that we could feed it into the reactor. I'll probably do it by the top. It makes a lot of sense to do so. And I don't want to send the polluted water by itself due to the fact that that generates dirt on this tile. And then we'll just make a mountain of dirt constantly. I don't want that. Unless I put a robo miner there, but that's too much of a hassle. So I need a pipeline that goes up. There's also this line that I should use for a little bit of water as well. Oh, I could use this line to feed into the reactor. That makes a lot of sense. That's a auto dump for my... Uh... Yeah, that basically makes it into an auto dump for my uh, extra water that I'm generating. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. That means I do need to get this pipeline out then. Something like this. And then we can just cut the line there. Now, that being said, I should take this line and run it through sieve. This is not too cold. I think this is fine. So, we want it like that due to how the output works. And then input like so. And... I think I take the power from the uh, solar panels. Shouldn't be too bad. Of course, we're going to have to deconstruct these tiles so that we could do the conductive wire like that. This is going to be fine. Look at that cold energy, dude. Look at that cold energy. Mine is 60. Sweet. I uh, should seal this up, though. I'm letting it leak out too much. <laughs> Holy crap. It's still mad cold, though, so I should be fine. Oh, dude, look at these eggshells. There was there was a flying critter just flying into here and dying, laying eggs. All the eggshells, man. Feels weird, man. All right, so we have that there, and then we're almost ready to get this started. There is a little bit I'm worried about in terms of uh, solar panels because I don't have that much power up here to be honest so I might need another power source to keep the uh, rad bolt generators running oh uh, man uh, I could theoretically take the hydrogen because I do have a lot and run that as a backup generator for the top Something like that. I don't want to overburn the hydrogen, though. Oh, plug slugs. Mmm. No, I don't want to use them, though. I'm not a fan. Alright, so we have a large hatch ranch. I probably want to get into some uh, hatches today. As I do want to clean that up. We should sweep that out. And then we were mining this area out. And planning on getting some more ethanol being made. Well... Uh, arbitraries to be made. That makes a lot of sense. We'll set that up. This is getting a little bit cold. We'll warm it up. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. We'll do it like that to set that up before we uh, mine this out. And then that way the polluted oxygen isn't too bad. It is highly pressurized though, at 5k. It's kind of impressive. And then there's a little bit of sand. I don't mind uh, bopping. Polluted water is getting pulled out, so that's fair. Let's actually mine that part out. 
just so that the polluted water is steady. Ooh, wait. It might break the salt. It's very soft. Oh, yeah, actually, I shouldn't do that then. <laughs> very soft. That's not a good sign. Alright, so... Drill cone rocket, and we have the basic nose cone right here, which is all good. Now, how much power am I actually generating from this? So my battery bank is uh, rolling. Problem is, is that I don't know if this is enough power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is on a separate line. Those PL2, those O2 specs in the PL2 are so gorgeous. Oh man. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> so we have 10 solar panels and our max lux value. Hello. Here we go. Is 20,000. So 20,000 lux per and this needs to hit 350. Right? So theoretically, I get what? Dude, this is garbage, man. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is really garbage. Dude, this is like no power, man. I'm getting 150 watts, barely, at high noon. The most sunlight in the day. And I have 10 of these. So what is that? <laughs> what is that? That's nothing. I could put some here, I guess. Underneath the rockets, that's fair. You lose a little bit of light from the rocket, though. And then we could have another one here, maybe move the rocket up. So... If I average, let's say my high is 150, and then my... Average, let's say that it's at basically three o'clock, nine o'clock before it's midnight. What is that gonna be? It's not, I know it's not, but it's uh, I don't want to use another power source. I don't want to use another power source. <laughs> it's like, oh man, it looks like I'm gonna have to put some hydrogen in a generator up top. So we're going to what? Let's say 120. So 120 plus 140. We'll average what? 130? Let's say we average 125, right? 125 watts at any given part of the day except at nighttime. So 10 times that, that's what? Enough for barely two Rad Bull generators over the course of a cycle, I think. So I think we have to double up the solar panels in order for it to work. So let's say 125 times 10. That is 1,250. I think I actually put one hydrogen generator on the line. Like, I have to. I want to say that I should. And I feel like if I don't, it's going to be not good. Yeah, we'll do it. And that means I have to take an overflow line from this, which is fine. All right, so we're going from here. We got the jank filter set up. And then I want to come from this way. So most likely I'm going to bridge through, remove one of these, and then overflow to the left. So it's going to look something like that. 
Now, from here, I would want to go straight up. Right? So, like that would be ideal. I've been dumping molten glass into a slush geyser to keep it cool. Time for solar. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Do you bring the temperature of your slush geyser above zero? Or or do you struggle to do that, Uglarvisk? I'm curious. I'm curious. I think that needs to be there. It goes through. I come back from the side. Hovers around minus six. Okay, that's not bad. All right, so that comes out. That's there. I got to do that. And then how do I want to do this cleanly? I don't want to hold the hydrogen in the pipes because technically that's going to warm everything up. Right? But I guess there's nothing I could do about that. So... Yeah, this would have been cleaner if I went straight up and moved the filter. I guess this is fine, though. So we'll just do some jank. Uh... One bridge. It's probably gonna be easiest. Goes out that way. And we'll set this one up. Alright, that should be fine. No one got stuck, Pog Slide. We can mine all this out. Uh, I could climb up here, right? I just want to make sure. Show navigation. Okay, that works. So we'll trim this part out. And then... Oh, water jumped up. I should mop this up then. Something probably melted. So we're going to be trimming that so that we could have the CO2 kind of move down a little bit more steadily. Next thing we're going to need is a pipeline from here, as that's going to be our main pipeline for getting up to the uh, top of the map. And I'm probably going to have to bridge it like this. Now from there, we have to go from the bottom. We come out this way, go along the side of the wall, go on the bottom of the liquid lock. Come out from the side. I do want to clean this up. And then we come out from here. Alright, so we're going to need that. Guaranteed. And because I want to hide the pipe, I think this is also guaranteed. Now, this doesn't have that much heat in it, so I'm not too worried. So I should be able to go up like that. And then from there, I should bridge cross, even though that looks ugly. Yeah, I guess this is going to be a bridge. After that happens... I probably just go straight up. This is probably going to be a bridge in the tile. I always like putting bridges in the tile. They always look better. This doesn't change anything in the most case. After that... This pipeline's kind of in the way. We do that. I do this. And then I do that. And then we do a setup like this. <laughs> And then this goes into the top. This actually goes in like so. The bridge across this pipeline. Yeah, I think I might want to clean this up eventually. Just like that? Alright. So that should be fine. Let's speed this up so the dupes have something to do. And then I need to get power to here. Which shouldn't be too bad. This is no wattage, okay? Way too much on those lines. Oh, this one's kind of light. All right, I think for the, you know, ease of access, I am just going to do a simple line. I'll probably take the iron. Makes the most sense. And... Hmm. 
This is a little bit tough. I guess we go this way. And then I go backwards and just hook into there. I'm going to keep this one open because I'll probably have to expand something and use that one instead. Alright, 60% stress on Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow, and that's because he is stressed out. Because he is low morale. Why is he low morale? See, that's the problem sometimes when you max out the dupe skills. They get a little bit overwhelmed, like this guy over here, Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow. He had to tickle toesies. Didn't help. Stress is just accumulating. Holy crap. Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow. I think he had issues breathing in his room, right? Which is why he's having a little bit of stress. Oh, that's right. We had that issue. Where the inside of the rooms had CO2 problems. And I think we opted to go for uh, algae terrariums. Ha <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's, I, I believe that's really the only thing we could do. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, as part of this pipeline, I believe I was going to make a slime factory. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this now. All right. So, we got to make a uh, slime purifier. Okay. So, this generates 1.5k DTU. So, that's not bad. It uh, consumes slime, generates algae. Okay. Seems good, seems good. And the first thing I would want to do before that is kill off the germ of my slime. Now, my slime is all in these buckets, right? Has a little bit of germs in it. It's not too bad. I guess my slime biome was just very small. This one didn't have a slime, but oh, it's because I'm force start. Force start never has uh, a lot of slime for you. Yeah, oh man. I guess we could go to here to try to get some slime. There was a slime biome on the left side, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little bit right there. Not a lot though. I might want to look for a drocone rocket <laughs> for algae and slime. Oh man, what a meme! What a meme! A little bit right there. And then let me look at my resources really quick. So slime, I have 37 tons. And then we have algae at eight tons. We don't have a lot of algae actually. I guess it's necessary though, necessary evils, necessary things we gotta do. So let's get the uh, door set up and then Okay, so I want to purify the slime. And I also want to kill off the germs on the slime first. Because slime lung, even though it dies on solid, which means if I have it on algae, it's actually okay. I don't want to chance them. <laughs> I don't want to chance them getting, uh, getting wrecked. Might have to do puffs. No, no, no. I'm going to Drocone. I'm going to Drocone, dude. I need to find a uh, POI. I'm hoping this one maybe is close enough. Or one of these two. To have slime on it. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping to do. Get slime on a Drocone rocket set up. And then I'm just going to do hatches for coal. Compress into diamonds. I'm never going to do puffs, man. Puffs suck. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the Pops, man. It's too much lag. You know what I mean? Inside here is not getting too hot. It's fine. The CO2 levels are pretty high. And... Oh, have we stopped producing ethanol? Yeah, I haven't swept the... Uh, the things yet so we're not picking up critter eggs and i need to get the lumber so we'll just sweep everything right now and then they'll start making ethanol again should be easy we have 160,000 units of lumber i'll probably want to get sweepy started so that i don't have to have dupes constantly pulling that in okay 
So berry sludge, how big is the storage for that? 16 kilograms. That's enough for one trip at the very least right now. So the only thing I need to set up now is... My research reactor. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I need to cut this line to have this go to here. This is going to be enrich uranium, priority nine, allow manual use. And then I want to put the uranium in here. Now, the problem is, is that they filled this up, so I'm going to have to deconstruct this. <laughs> Hopefully, the dupes stop putting it inside. And then Mr. Arrow, capital fellow. Morale is still low. Uh, when do you eat? I want to say when Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow eats, he's going to be happy. Oh, he's supposed he what? He didn't eat? He did? And his morale is still low? Okay, what's happening here? He had a grizzly meal. Oh, he's eating the bad food. Are we at a barbecue, man? He's probably eating the pickled mill lice. I think we are. Yeah, we're very low on it. Uh, so he just happened to not eat any good food. And he's getting uh, roasted. Whoa! Why are my why are my raw egg counts going up? Do I have do I have storage somewhere that's allowing uh eggs to be stored? Hold up. Uh <laughs> I have I have a storage bin somewhere that's allowing eggs to be stored. Because how else am I getting raw egg? Alright, these are being grown properly. Wait a second. Do I even have storage bins? These are all closed. Yeah, no filters. Uh, I have no idea how I'm getting raw egg then. How would I get raw egg if I don't have bins to hold the eggs? Oh, it would have to be from the shipping chutes. Oh, right here. Oh my god, all the eggs is only two. Okay. Dude, feel so bad. Look at the... Oh, wait. Wait. Fifty-three percent viability. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't believe I did that. The rail wasn't connected. <laughs> oh my god. So the shoot. Yeah. So there's no egg on there. So that's where it was. Wow. Really do be yourself sometimes. At least we caught that. Okay. It's looking all right. I might want to tap into the uh, iron biome at the bottom today. Just cuz. And then... Yeah, we're just waiting for the dupes to catch up. So, got rid of that. We got the manual use here. Enrich uranium. Not really high usage right now, which is fine. And we're just waiting for things to kind of be built right now. Should be all right. Should be all right. This is just oxygen, I believe. And I need to get rid of the other gases soon. Oh, I also wanted to, uh, well, first things first, mop that up, mine out the slime right there. I'll have to chill out with the, uh, the slime distillation as we're a little bit overwhelmed right now. My workforce isn't high enough. Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow is stressed out. He needs 18 required. Alright, it might be time for us to build the Duplicate Special. Everything that Duplicates love. Why is there algae there? And that's going to be the Nature Reserve Shower Combo. It's probably going to be in this room. So, if I were to do showers... This is a small room, right? And I need to have the bathroom size. 
Oh, I could do a larger room because of uh, the fact that the nature reserve bonus is 120 tiles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I still want it kind of close to the uh, setup. Maybe have it underneath everything down there. This is feasible, but I want to get rid of the gas first if that's the case. Oxifern, dude. Getting so much CO2 fed in. Take the sandstone. We're going to crush that into sands. What are my dupes doing, though? I guess I just overworked them right now, giving them too much to do. And I might want to start cutting back down on the uh, mealwood right here. Seven critters. It's not bad. Near the Great Hall is most efficient. They like to eat, shower right after. Wait, isn't that only if you give them bathroom time after downtime? I have them in the morning after they wake up. Or do they shower in the downtime as well? Psycho Triple Seven, big winner. Yo, man. I wish it worked out that way. Me 48072. I see you over there. Imagine that Oni made it so that if you reach certain cycles, you get a bonus. Hey man, you made it this far. Let me help you out. That'd be kind of nice. That'd be kind of nice. Most of the time, they don't shower in bathroom time. Oh, really? They always shower in bathroom time for me. I'm, I guess it's because of how my setup is, though, I guess. Since they pee right before they sleep, they don't have to shower or they don't have to pee in the morning. Interesting. Or let me burden you a bit. Dude, imagine. You made it this far. Let's make it a little bit harder. <laughs> oh, man. That'd be a funny way to do things, though. I see you flew on. How are you? Me, 48072. How you guys doing, man? Hope you guys are having a good day today. A good, uh, good Tuesdays, hopefully. Let's leave that alone for now. Aw, oh, dude. Progressive stress? I wouldn't like that. Because it's like... Actually, I wouldn't mind that. It's it's That's a lot like RimWorld, actually. Floan. You know how in RimWorld you have uh, low expectations when you first start off? And then like the longer they live, the higher the expectations they have. And then it's like basically a uh, mood requirement. Keeps going up and down. It'd be just like Rimworld, which would be kind of tight, I guess. I wouldn't mind it. But I feel like for maybe the newer players, that would be uh, maybe devastating to them. Wow, this guy, he knows he doesn't want to get caught by the oxygen. Let's help him out. Let's put an airflow tile right there and bop him on the face. Auto save lag. Okay. So I don't need the fridge anymore because of the fact that the sleet wheat grain is done. I still need the critter drop-offs. And then all we gotta do is make sure the grub grubs fill this up. It is already, nobody noticed. Aw, oh, dude. I hate stealth patches like that, man. If anything, that's like the one thing I hate the most. Stealth patches, dude. I'm not a fan of stealth patches. 200 tons of plastic? I mean, you're right. I should upgrade all my ladders, dude. <laughs> I should upgrade all my ladders. That's 100% correct. Why am I not upgrading all my ladders? I don't know. But I really should. Maybe I should start making transit tubes. That's something I don't have too often. Transit tubes wouldn't be bad. But yo man, Glossy Draco Farm is life. That's all you need. 
Once you have a glossy Draco farm, dude, you don't need anything else. Look at all these glossy babies inside. Why do I have water here? <laughs> Why do I have a lot of water here? Is it freezing or something? It's, it's, it's awkward. Why do I have so much water right there? So far, so good, though. Uh, oh, I never connected this, huh? So, power wire. Haha, like that. And then I need to seal this up. So that the cold energy does not continue to leak out. And then this does need to go like that. And then we'll remove the pipeline in the middle. The gas pipeline needs to be a little bit better. Ah, so both of these are closed as they should be. That is spot cooling that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to do it like that. We're going to connect this pipeline. Some of the O2 is going to leave. And then that O2 left, I could cut this now. This should allow me to connect this pipeline straight down, and it does. And then all we need to do is... This. There we go. And then all we gotta do is pull this to the left, and this line's gonna be active. I go to the right location. Oh! I need a smart battery. Uh, otherwise the hydrogen's gonna burn forever. I didn't even realize that. So I will want this here. We'll make this out of copper. Dude, I have a lot of aluminum. I'm actually kind of impressed. I guess that's what happens when you play on the four star. All the aluminum. Doors got built. Not bad. Working on the plastic ladders. Alright, so... I want to start sealing the area up. I want to start mining this out, but I want to get my rockets started first. Like, I want to get them charging. So I think we should leave that there and start just pulling the uh, unbreathable gases down best we can. Uh, maybe we make a soda fountain room today. A lot of CO2 that we could store. I don't really mind it. Put it over here. Have the shower room at the bottom. Transit tube right here, maybe. Yeah, what's up, guys? What's going on, Dr. Evil? How you doing, man? How is the days today? How is the Tuesdays? Hope you're doing well, Dr. Evil. Is the weather still getting hotter over there, man? Is the weather still getting hot? Oh, so this is done. Uh... Alright. We're gonna convert the copper and aluminum. After which, we'll have enough iron, hopefully. And then we'll do a little bit of steel. Doing good. Weather's still hot. Tomorrow's gonna be real hot, as I said. Oh, tomorrow's gonna be the, uh, the day, right? Yo, man. Best of luck to you, Dr. Evil. The only tip I would go, uh, the t I would tell you is uh, make sure. But I'm not mad about it because I made a decision. I'm calling in sick. Oh man, that's clutch. You got AC at home, right? <laughs> Yo, man, it's time to grab a beer, go to the beach. Make sure the boss doesn't see you on the beach, though. <laughs> and if he does, tell tell him you're sweating it out. You, you read about it on the internet. <laughs> Guys, have you, any guys ever done that before? You're sick, and uh, someone tells you, oh, you just sweat out the sickness. And they're like, yeah, just try to, you know, be in the sun, run around, do a sport, play some basketball or something. And, and they, they live and die by it. And I, it's like, I tried it before, man. It was a horrible experience. So I was on the tennis team in high school. And what happened one time was, was that... 
we I got sick and uh, my my friends on the tennis team were like, hey, I, I was sick before. I just played tennis. And then after a day of playing tennis, um, I guess I sweat out the sickness and I was okay again. And I was like, all right, I tried out. You know, the homie's not going to lie to me. The homies lied to me. <laughs> the homies lied to me, man. I couldn't believe it. And uh, it was, it was. They don't think it'd be like it is, man. But it do. And they really do be like that sometimes. <laughs> I had an aunt that would wrap me in a heated blanket. Ooh. There's a lot of different ways to combat the sickness, right? Cause, cause when you're when you're sick, your body heats up and you get a fever because that's how your body deals with sickness. It heats up so that the bacteria dies or the virus dies in an attempt to uh, have a little bit more control, right? Get rid of as much of it as can. It's a defense mechanism. Now, there is the other school of thought that goes, just drink a lot of water with a thought process being that, oh, if you drink enough water, uh, there's something called osmosis. Oh, that works. The polluted oxygen's gone. And with osmosis, if you drink enough water, the uh, germs drown because of the too much water, and it's not used to it. And you flush it out that way. I don't know, man. It's, it's, there's a lot of different ways people combat the sickness. I really don't know. A lot of it is, like because our parents do it <laughs> so we do it kind of a thing I feel like that's how it's passed down I exercise depending on how sick I am but I sleep with two covers in a hoodie and sweatpants Jeez Christ see I can't do that because I every time I'm wearing layers like that and I sweat I feel gross dude like the shirt sticking to me and I, I feel it's just like the wind blows a little bit. I shiver <laughs> like it's, it's a bad time. I know I've never heard of people exercising and working to sweat it out. I've always been accustomed to rest, good insulation and raise core temperature low. Yeah, 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 yeah. The I'm used to that as well. So when my when my friends recommended that to me, I thought they were crazy, but they're like, oh, they've done it before. <laughs> oh, man. It is. It feels like it's counterproductive. But I think what it is, is that when you're... Because I, I realized what I think the logic was, was that when you're exercising, doing a sport, your body heats up more than just laying around. Right? So you're raising your internal body temperature by working uh, your muscles, working the, uh, the insides of your body. Now, I don't know if it works, but... That makes sense in how, like, there was one time where it was basically winter break, and I was at home from college, and the homies were like, hey, we're going to go play some basketball at the rec. And I was like, okay, uh, let's go. Let's play some ball. I haven't played in forever. So we went to the rec, and we were balling. And, dude, after a couple games, we looked at each other, and we saw steam uh, rising from each other's heads. So it's like we, we were, you know, playing hard enough that we we're all broken to a sweat, but even though it was ice cold out in the summertime, and we could see the steam coming from our head. Like, have you guys seen One Piece? You guys know the main character, Luffy? He has a move called Gear 2. And it's, it's, he starts releasing steam from his body. That's what it looked like, man. 100%. 100%. If you guys know what I'm talking about. But I, I don't know if that if that works the way I think it works, though. That's the thing. <laughs> True, you feel gross. But I always feel gross anyways. So I'm like, screw that. I see you, man. I see you. LaFonda, though. Welcome. I didn't know we have some fans of Napoleon Dynamite here. I see you. Hope you enjoy the oxygen unincluded. It's hard to drink enough to kill most of the dangerous germs. They call it a cell wall, like a shell of a uh, scientific word that I can't pronounce, making them really tough. Okay. But staying hydrated and not freezing helps. That makes sense. That makes sense. Irradiation low, I think. I don't think it's steam. I don't know. But steam doesn't sound right. No, no, no. It, what it is is that you're releasing heat and you're sweating, right? And then relative to the cold temperatures, it's kind of like, you know, when you're, uh, 
you know when you're in the winter time and you release a little bit of your breath you could see the the the, the breath come out from your mouth like it's visible in the cold but you wouldn't see that in the spring or summertime it's kind of like that yeah no it's not actually steam right but it looks like it it, it looks like it like we see like this 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 white cloud that just starts coming off from the top of our heads yeah, it's not steam. It's not steam, but that's that's the best way to like visibly describe it. Funny story. I've never seen that movie until far after I made my name. What? How did you get the name then? I got to ask, Matt. Hey, yo, what's going on? Kit Latessa, how are you today? Don't worry, man. I'm not dying. <laughs> Steam's just coming in from my head, man. Yeah, isn't it like condensation? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's closer to that. It's closer to that. My bad, man. I I, I used the wrong scientific terminology. I forget we're all scientists in chat. I got to be politically correct. When you take the uh, dihydrogen monoxide and split it on the uh, molecular level, you actually receive O two H two. That is the spawn. I see you guys in chat, man. You gotta keep it legit. My name originated from being a Smurf account on Leak. I used to say LOL all the time and just made fun of it, duh. And made it funda. Uh, I gotta head off to work. Leave a lurk. Definitely do it next time I see you around, though. Yo, have a nice day at work, dude, man. Club going up on a Tuesday, if you know what I mean. But, dude, see you next time. Thank you for stopping around. And, yo, have a good one. Remind me of the air that radiates off like hot air conditioners that you can barely see. It's just hilarious. Oh, I see you, man. I see you. Hey, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that, I guess. I, I think I know what you're talking about. Like, like you know, when you're in the desert. You, you see, you know, the mirage, so to speak, and it's like just a little bit of waviness from the immense heat and you start to like see things. It's kind of like that, I want to say. Yeah, the little airwaves. Yeah, 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 yeah. We on the same page? We on the same page? I wonder if someone's gonna get stuck inside. Oh my god, this guy, dude, narcoleptic nap again? Is he even working? This guy's a bastard. Oh, and he's awake? What the hell? He took a 15 minute nap. That's actually kind of impressive. He actually just took a 15 minute nap while working. I'm not even mad. All right, so this is gonna get ha uh, cold because of the energy. So I wanna just maintain the energy a little bit. It seems to be that I need to put a couple deodorizers here. I'll just do that very quickly. That's actually up the priority of that. That's what I thought you were talking about originally. I didn't think that happens in the cold. I'm dying. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. It's, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's slightly different. <laughs> Imagine being able to generate that much heat from a human body, dude. Like, that's kind of wild. That'd be mad wild. Alright, so I do also need those tiles there, because we're going to replace this with more arbitraries. Nice, nice. We want to make sure it doesn't get too cold over here. We don't want the plants to die. 15 to 40 is ideal. Right now, we're closer to 15, dude. It's kind of scary. Slixers are doing good, generating a little bit of oil that we need. That would mean you have good stamina. Yo, I bet Goku could boil his own sweat. Dude, he does it all the time. Have you ever seen him cast a spirit bomb? You see those little droplets just going into his, uh, his spirit bomb, dude? That's a sweat, man. <laughs> He's literally just, just generating a sun. In the palm of his hand, dude. Hit him with the spirit bomb, man. Alright, this should be fine. We're gonna mine this out. And... 
I think it's worthwhile to crack into the chlorine as well. I want to leave the top though. Hmm. All right, so I think what we should do is mine. I, th I have to mine this out. As much as the oxyfern can potentially help me, I think I just need to get rid of it. All right, so we'll chill out with that. High stress. Who's high stress? Oh, he's inside his room, stressed out. Wait, no, he's gone. Dude, he keeps going inside his room. What is he doing? I gotta wait till he wakes up. Oh, and we're done making ceramic? Dude, that's fast. Mental break, hide in room, don't say that, man. I, I can't have that happen yet. We're gonna make some more glass. It's gonna help out with the internal temperatures as well. 69! Nice! Oh, it went up. Oh, not nice. Yeah, he's just stressed out. Alright, I guess we have to deal with it. Uh, let's see. I guess the best way to deal with it is on this level. And I think the best thing for us to do is store the carbon dioxide in some readily available stuff. So I think we'll do that here. We have a lot of aluminum, so I think we're just going to be using that. Alright. I will put that there, and then I can't put one there. Okay, cool. Alright, so we'll do it like that. And we'll get some pumps over here. We do have a power line, shouldn't have to worry. When I used to swim one time, uh, we were at a four day long event in the middle of January, okay? And uh, one night my mates did some pranks just to have fun. But one of the pranks, my training was not having it. So we pulled our ass up at 4 a.m. for outside workout to punish us and we were only allowed to go back inside when the steam was coming from our heads if you're not smoking you're not sleeping oh my god <laughs> hey man it's it's it, they don't think it be like it is but it do really do be like that sometimes man So the, it's a thing, it's a thing, and it seems like a lot of people know about it, which is fine. It's kind of cool. But damn, what did you guys do to the trainer, man? <laughs> Yo, man, you pissed him off? What you guys do, man? I guess kids will be kids. Always got a prank, right? Pranks were even that great, not worth. Yeah, man. You gotta watch out. Some people are not, just not gonna have it, man. What's going on, Kill Renee? How are you? How is the days today? How is the Tuesdays? Hope you're doing well, Mr. Kill Renee. We'll do one right there, and then we'll do a very lazy setup. I'm sweaty. Oh, dude, are you getting bodied by the, uh... Are you getting bodied by the, uh, immense temperature? I have heard that it's, uh, pretty tough, man. Hope you're doing alright. And then we have all of these combined. There we go. So we'll do that setup. And then we'll just have to, you know, connect this to the power. It's 11 p.m. and it's still 27C outside? Yeah, that's... <laughs> Is it weird, man, that... I'm kind of scoffing at those temperatures? Because it's normal for, for where I live. Like, those temperatures are normal for where I live. During the summertime. And it's not that I, I'm scoffing at them or the people that are going through this because I, I, we, we kind of go through that all the time anyways. It's kind of like, 
How do I say this? Like, I don't know, man. European people used to make fun of us for having aircon. And now it's like, well, y'all need to get some aircon, man. <laughs> I'm not sure what the exact prank was. I remember us sneaking into another team's room and the teams were staying at a school sleeping in the classrooms. We put on adult movies on the projector. Oh my god. Dude, have you seen the episode of Psych? Uh, Dr. Evil's Rubber Duck. Uh, it's like the two characters. The two main characters. When they were little, they had a problem with pranks. And the problem they had with pranks were that they would either A go too hard or B go too soft ah psych is a TV show where two guys uh, deduct or deduce a lot of scenarios and act like they're psychics but they're not real psychics they just uh, could read the situation well read how humans are and act accordingly so there's a lot of scenes where they're just kind of pranking or, you know, taking a stab in the dark about certain things. And there was a flashback where it's like, man, I remember when you was a little kid, you would either go too hard or go too soft. And he's like, what do you mean? And he's like, do you remember that time we wanted to prank so-and-so? And the only thing you thought to do was to change the sole of his left shoe with the sole of his right shoe so that he would never be balanced. And he's like, yeah, that was a good prank. He's like, no, that wasn't. And he didn't even feel it. And then he's like, you remember the other time you were like, let's drop a refrigerator on top of the guy as a prank? I was like, that was going to kill him. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, man, you either go too hard or too weak. <laughs> I don't know, man. For some reason, it reminded me of that. Like, come on, man, can't have no weak pranks. But at the, at the same time, I, I will say, I'm not a fan of pranks. Because a lot of the times, pranks are... Uh, not done properly, right? Because because I believe that pranks, when you do a good prank, it should put a smile on the other person's face when they realize it. If you actually do something and they get, you know, it, it ruins their day, pisses them off, whatever, that's a bad prank. And you're just literally just using the guise of a prank to fuck with people. I, I'm not a I'm not a fan of that. Well, when you're used to it, it's no problem. But the temperature here in Germany is such temperatures is not normal. Rather a high difference from a one day to another. How much of uh, Germany has air conditioning, Killer Renee? Would you happen to know? Is it normal for a lot of the houses to have air conditioning, or is it something that's only in like an office environment or something like that? Yeah, 100F is pretty normal for Southwest US. Yeah, man. Last couple years, 100%. Yeah, it's basically normal. I feel like everyone forgets how summer feels. Like anyone's been conditioned down. Everyone just whines. Maybe it's just gotten a little hotter past decade. But dude, who, who the fuck knows? I worry about stuff like that too much. And I'm over it. Everyone, not anyone. Oh, I, I, feel, I feel that. For the most part, um, you know. Have you guys heard the saying? Uh, good news is never reported, only bad news. <laughs> so I guess it's like, well, I guess it's bad news then, right? Dude, this guy is really pissed. All right, man, we're going to help him out. We're going to we're gonna have him get skill scrubbed. We're going to make it easy on him. We're going to skill scrub him. Just so that I don't have to deal with it. Uh, I could probably do it right here. Yeah, I feel like practical jokes in general aren't really fun. Mostly they're not, they're either not funny or kind of humiliating. Yeah, and it's only like, it's, it comes at the expense of someone else. Like you're laughing at them. You're not laughing with them, which is like, I feel like what a lot of people don't understand. It's more normal for offices to have AC, but for home, you have to get it yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's more normal for offices, but how much uh, residential houses do you think, like, percentage-wise, maybe? Do you think people have air conditioning in uh, Germany? Like, I don't know if it's common over there. 
Maybe all of our ACs collectively are heating the outside up. Oh, dude. I've, I do that's that's such a meme, but it kind of makes sense because <laughs> the air conditioner doesn't magically generate cold air out of nowhere. It comes at the cost of heating out the outside. It's it's a hundred percent true. That's a hundred percent true. Oh, this doesn't have a uh, exhaust yet. Uh oh. The only other gases that come out of here would be nothing I would really care about. Right? So I'm just storing uh, carbon dioxide, and then we can let the chlorine kind of stack up, because I don't really care about that. Maybe I double filter the chlorine? Maybe I crush it and send it to that line. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll crush the, crush the gas. Like an aqua tuner, 100%, man. You know what we need to do? We need to put uh, the steam turbines on top of the planet. Kind of like the industrial brick right here. I'm just saying, man. That way we won't get hotter than uh, 90, uh, 125 Celsius. <laughs> Let's put some steam turbines on that, man. Easy money. Hey, man. I'm just saying, that only happens if you only wipe once. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, that only happens if you wipe once. I, I didn't know this was common, but apparently there is a school of thought where people actually only wipe their butt one time when they poop. And when I heard that, I thought that was a meme. Like, no one no one actually does that, right? <laughs> like, everyone wipes till it's clean or use a bidet, you know, wet wipe something, right? No, there's apparently people that do that. And I'm just kind of, like, baffled. Like, who the hell? Who the hell does that, you know? Like, who wipes once and just gets up? And I was confused, man. I was confused. Because that, that was news to me. Like, sometimes if you see people with a little bit of a brown streak on their pants, it's because they only wipe once. Like, apparently that's how it works. And I, I didn't want to believe it, but I, apparently that's, that's just the way it is. It's gross, man. I'm telling you, that stuff is gross. Cushman knows, man. You gotta wipe till there's no more. Oh, dude, blood? Oh, man. You probably use that one ply stuff that feels like sandpaper, man. You gotta get some some triple triple ply softness, dude. Just saying. No way, dude. I'm so so. Here's the thing. I've seen in movies, television, maybe comedic shows, whatever you want to call it. I've seen the people use uh. Kind of like dirty, uh, dirty boxers, right? And they they kind of show like a like a brown streak on it. There was a time period where Justin Bieber was sagging his pants, and his his briefs were showing, and there was a brown streak on his briefs, right? So he didn't wipe. So it's like, let's be real. I have never seen a brown streak on my boxers before like that like never so it's like when that happens it's like oh yeah maybe he sharted you know it's like oh yeah he pooped he didn't poop he farted a little bit of poop came out and there's a streak and it's like you start you start hearing people man and they used to start talking about oh i just wiped once H how is it that you're going through so much toilet paper <laughs> and that that was the argument like oh you don't need that much toilet paper you just need one roll and it'll last you a month if you buy a pack that's like a couple years like this was during the pandemic start people were talking about how oh yeah man uh toilet paper is gone and people are like how how do you go through that much toilet paper <laughs> and some people honestly were like yeah man you just use one roll a month per person and it's like what <laughs> yeah, you just wipe once. And I was like, wait, wait, you can't be serious. Like, nah, nah, man, this is, this is real. <laughs> and I was like, man, that's crazy.
Wait, what? I buzzly, what are you talking about? The hair? Come on, man. You gotta wipe. Wipe till, the, wipe till it's clean. Wait. You gotta, you gotta... Man, I feel bad for people that have a lot of hair down there, man. Where their butt is. Because every time they poop, dude... You, you get the dingleberries, man. Oh, that might be it. That's another thing, right? I guess it'd be like that sometimes. The unlucky few. Never ever. I see you, Kushman. Are you are you saying that from experience? <laughs> Are you saying that from experience, man? Always shave. <laughs> oh, man. I learned the hard way. Dude, did you get an infection or something? I have a lot of hair down there. I want to say that for the record. I don't really struggle because I wipe. Hey, I see you over there. You got to do it, man. No, it burns. <laughs> Oh, man. Have you guys ever got... So, so so if there's any, you know, females in chat, I know that a lot of the times, you know, females do this. But have any of the males in chat ever got their eyebrows done? I'm not going to lie, man. I got that done before because I have a little bit of a bushy eyebrow. That shit hurts, man. Holy shit. And I'm thinking that maybe it's something like that, like, because we're not used to it, it hurts really bad. But man, when I got my eyebrows done, man, that shit was pain. Holy crap. And then one time. Oh, man. My, my ex-girlfriend wanted to really wanted to hurt me. And she asked if she could pluck some of my sideburn hairs. I was like, oh, is it going to hurt as bad? She's like, no, it's not going to be worse than plucking the eyebrows. And she quickly plucked five of them as fast as she could. And then I was like, don't do that ever again. Because that shit was pain, dude. Because the roots of the hair there was a lot longer, larger. Dude, that shit hurt, man. Your sideburns getting plucked with tweezers. And it's because I guess I, I kind of have a little bit like a mutton chop, not really, where the hair grows down a little bit low across my sides. Usually I shave it off though. Oh man, have you guys seen the episode of Parks and Rec where, uh, what's, his, what's his name? The guy that uh, plays Andy, also plays Star-Lord. Was it Chris Chris Pratt? Is that his name? Chris Pratt? Uh, there was a scene, dude. It was pretty good. And, man, he was like, Doctor, sometimes when I go poop, I wipe. And I wipe, and I wipe, and I wipe. And it's like a brown permanent marker. <laughs> and and it's, it's like everyone that was on scene just, just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> It's like wiping a brown permanent marker, man. There's always a trail still. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all should see the clips of Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Dude, that's pretty good. I wonder if that's his real name now. Oh, take it out from the mustache? I've never done that, dude. That probably hurts a lot. Because isn't the area around your uh, lips kind of sensitive? I pluck my own brows from time to time. Not the eyebrow itself, though. Only to stop it from going on the sides or upward. Yeah, 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 I trim around it. Kind of a thing. He had to chosen his name that perfect. Yeah, I did. No. So here's the thing. There is, there is, uh, there's a rapper slash, uh, actor. His name is Donald Glover, right? And he's, he's, he's the black guy from Community, if you guys have seen the show. Or if you guys seen the movie The Martian, he was the uh, genius scientist that set up the slingshot method. 
helps to uh, rescue, what is it, Matt Damon? And and ch his, his rapper name is Childish Gambino, right? But his real name is Donald Glover. He was on, I think it was uh, The Late Night Show with, uh, I, th I think it's what, uh, Jimmy Kimmel or something like that. And he was like, did you know that your name comes out to be Dong Lover if you take out the space in the middle? <laughs> and he starts cracking up. He's like, what? And he's like, oh, it does. And he's like, dude, I paid bills. I had my name on that. <laughs> and I've never noticed. That. <laughs> and it's like, maybe it's a coincidence, man. Maybe his name really is Chris Pratt. You know? But 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 Donald Glover becomes Dong Lover. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. It's kind of sketch. It's kind of sketch, man. And it's because you know Donald. You would shorten that to Don, right? That's that's normal. <laughs> it's just crazy huh? that's how that worked out dong lover that's hilarious i know right dude and he, he was he was like man i paid bills with that name i never noticed <laughs> jimmy kimmel was like are you aware that your name turns out to be dong lover <laughs> it's pretty good this is why things don't get solved. A room full of so-called intellectuals went from talking about warm climate to wiping ass to dinkleberries. Now we're talking about people's names and if they're real or not, dude. See, no one believes me when I tell them my first name is legit. And my last name is City. Look me up on the yellow pages, baby. No one believes me, man. I don't know why. They don't think be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. Ooh, grub grub egg. Now that's sweet. Okay. I'm gonna take another grub grub. Alright, so I might wanna... No, that's big brother, dude. What do you mean, twin? That's big brother. <laughs> I know, man, my first name is really is doctor. No, man, that's a title. What do you mean? Like, like, Sir Charles? The first name is not Sir. That's just a title, man. <laughs> His first name is not Sir. First name is Charles. Your first name is... Is Evils. The Doctor is a title. Like, like, you know, they call him Doctor Stephen Strange. Doctor Strange. First name is actually Stephen. Your Doctor Doctor? I once bought a soda called that, and it was a ripoff brand of Dr. Pepper. It was actually pretty good, but it went flat in like an hour. That actually works, though. I see you over there, Dr. Evil. Named after some soda. I guess it's not that bad. Alright, so we gotta lock this. Because I think this is ready. Mr. Doctor, it's strange. Yes, it is. I see you over there. Was that actually... Uh, how do I say this? Was that actually how they uh, had an interaction in one of the Doctor Strange movies? <laughs> it's strange. That's me. Dude, this chlorine keeps coming up. As long as we're pumping it now, though, I think it'll be fine. We just need the O2 pressure to kind of raise up. Oh, does that mean my O2 levels is going down? Should I be releasing a little bit of oxygen from here? I guess that's fair for me to do something. Oh, how hot is this? 32. Uh, should I try to cool this down a little bit more? I guess it's fine. I would want a little bit more of a cooling loop, I suppose. Now, since we have a lot of salt water, and I haven't even condensed it yet, I should probably try to burn through the liquid. 
So we're going to lower the temperature to 20. So that we get colder water here more often. There was a line like that in the movie. And in Avengers, Spider-Man hears his name is like, Oh, we're using our made-up names. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, how do you guys feel about the Spider-Man franchise? I gotta be real. I know a lot of it has to do with, like, legal stuff. And how people, like, oh, you know, they won the rights to the name, so to speak, and whatnot. I gotta ask, Matt. Do you think they could have done what they did with Spider-Man and, like, changed the actor three, four times? With any other superhero movie? Or character? Like, that's wild, man. Like, in a span of, what, 10 years? It's, it's, it's kind of crazy that happened like that. I wasn't on board till the last Spider-Man movie, then I changed my mind. The last one pulled it all together. Oh, is that the one where they, uh... Where they, uh... How do I say this? They, they went into the multiverse, and all three of them got together? Oh, they did! They did do that with Batman! That's true! They did do that with Batman, I didn't even think about that. That is correct. See, the thing with Batman, though... Is that it's, uh, how do I say this? Not that it feels all right or anything like that. But like... Oh, I gotta do this first. But like, there was enough time period in between the sequels. Like, Spider-Man was a lot faster. I mean, I like all three of Spider-Man, but it's kind of weird that it changed three times. Uh, but I like the Tom Holland Spider-Man. Tom Holland. I don't know the actors, man. I just know I just know OG Toby. <laughs> That's all I know, man. OG Toby Maguire. Everyone else is uh, I don't know who they are. Yes, and Superman. I enjoy watching Tom. He's a good uh, what he's cast. Christopher Reeves was the OG. Oh man, super. See, see, but but the Superman one though wasn't there a Superman's curse? Right? Baker Halo, welcome in. Yes, now that the multiverse was introduced to the MCU. Okay, okay. I guess that does tie it together. Dude, you guys, you guys ever hear about the Superman curse? Everyone that's played Superman has a, like, career-ending injury. Stuff like that. I watched Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness last night, and it was pretty dang good. Huh. I haven't seen it. I've heard from some people that it was alright. I've heard from some people that it was pretty good. But honestly, I don't, I don't know enough about it. Don't jinx it, Team DX. Don't jinx it, man. Neither the TV series or actors. Is that is that the guy that played Smallville? I love the Doctor Strange parody that South Park did on the latest special. I haven't seen that, actually. Are you talking about the Smallville one and then the Batman versus Superman one? There was a TV series before Smallville. I don't actually remember that. Oh. Lag lag. There we go. Alright, so... Navigation. Alright, they can't go through. That's what I need to see. Dawson's Creek. What? That's not Superman. What are you talking about? Dawson's Creek, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> that's not... That's something I've never thought I would hear. We're talking about Dawson's Creek, dude. <laughs> it's kind of wild. Next thing you know, we're going to be talking about, like, uh... Uh, One Tree Hill. Yep. Beverly Hills 90210. The OC. 
What are we even talking about anymore? Fear Factor. Y'all remember Fear Factor? Before Joe Rogan kind of kind of lost it. <laughs> Y'all remember Fear Factor, man? It's been a long time. Yeah, the one that ran from 93 to 97. 93, 97. I don't remember that. Terry Hatcher. Who that is? Lois. What the hell is Dawson's Creek even about? Wasn't that about like uh, these these kids around the, the the river? Oh, he's got Bob, baby. Nightbots, Nightbot ain't playing today. Sometimes Nightbots is gonna bop you, man. Watch out. Nightbots not a fan of the uh, websites. Oh, you know what I just realized? I should probably have a buffer for the liquid. Because I want to carry a positive amount. Yeah, Dawson's Creek was the first teen drama show cable TV. It has nothing to do with Superman, right? That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to, to understand. And it has nothing to do with Superman, right? <laughs> that, that, that threw me off. I was like, wait, that's a Superman show? It was? I'm, I'm confused, man. That was Superman? Totally. Okay. Okay. Right, we, we got it, boys. Unrelated. We did it, boys. I was so confused. What does Superman have to do with this? All right. Doctor or uh, Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow. This guy got wrecked. And we're going to give him uh, rocket piloting level one and nothing else. He is not able to handle the stress. So we'll, we'll keep it easy on him. All right. So this is the drill cone rocket. Uh, technically, this is not ready, and I should technically swap this. Oh, I could change the max to zero, so it just overshoots to the second one, which is going to be my navigation rocket. Okay, so this is going to be ready soon. So let's start setting up the interior. Most case, we're going to have plastic tiles. And because of that, I'll probably have plastic tiles here. And then station telescope. Oh, that's space. Alright. We'll make that out of aluminum, because why not? Now, we're probably going to need a wall toilet. This is probably going to be deconstructed. We're going to need some water. We're probably not going to need insulated, so I'll use my Mafic if I have it. Oh, I can't use Mafic to make pipes? That sucks. Alright, man. We're using Igneous, then. So, do it like that. And we won't need to wash our hands. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I need this. And then I got to get rid of that. I probably would want that tile then. And then I probably want to have the bleach stone in here. And I will put in the beginning the oxygen vents. All right, we'll wait for that to be built. Uh, I need the ladder beds probably right here. Just debating. I see you over there, man. I see you over there. Guys, I have a question for you guys. People of chat. Have you guys ever heard of the term acquired taste? You guys, you guys have heard of that before, right? Oh, yeah, it's an acquired taste. Wait, what is this? Aluminum. So, so what does that even mean? I gotta be real. What, what the hell does acquired taste even mean? Like... How is it that I, I have something, like I try it for the first time, and... I don't like it, but as I eat more and more of it, it starts to taste better. Yeah, like, 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 why does something like that exist? <laughs> like, for lack of better words, why the hell does that, why the hell does that exist? Like, if we don't like something, wouldn't we just not like that? Like beer lol, I guess. 
for me, it was coffee. I had to focus myself to drink it every morning to wake up and finally develop a taste for it for after time. I have that with cheese. Baker Halo, I see you over there. An acquired taste is an appreciation for something unlikely to be enjoyed by a person who's never had substantial exposure to it. It is the opposite of innate taste, which is the appreciation for things that are enjoyable by most persons without prior exposure to them. It doesn't make sense. I see you over there, man. It makes sense that it doesn't make sense, though. Beer is another. You drink it for the effect at first, but you end up finding one that you actually enjoy. That makes sense, I guess. So, so I gotta ask. If an acquired taste is like that, how did we as humans figure out what is something that's enjoyable even though at first we don't like it like how does that happen how do we go from oh yeah that's pretty good to man that's delicious <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean like oh I i'm not a fan of that and then it ends up being dude i need to have one of those every night i like how do we get to that point i mean i mean, I mean Dumb might be an understatement. I think insane. You would have to be insane. Because it's like even a dumb person, like, like think about it this way. Animals, if they eat something that they don't enjoy, they don't eat it anymore. Right? So why would they want to eat it again if they run into it? Right? And it's it's not something to do with intellect at that point, I don't think. Cause cause, you know, babies, undeveloped, right? If they don't like something, they're not gonna want it. Taste buds actually change through the years, I'm pretty sure. Nah, I could see that I guess. They, there is something called the palate, right? If there are literally didn't have anything else to eat. Oh, I guess that's true. They didn't have anything else to eat. That could be a thing. I personally think it's just humans' tendencies to want variety. Hmm. But variety in a sense that you would eat something that's subpar in, in flavor or taste. Where you don't enjoy it and you eat it long enough that it does become enjoyable. That's kind of that's kind of crazy, man. It's similar to anything you like. Some random thing in your brain at some point says you like it. But but to be able to try it enough times though, I don't know. I think it's actual science, if I remember correctly. Actual science, okay. I now like very different things at age 38 compared to when I was 20. Red cabbage, I see a Team DX. It's, it's, I guess it's like... For me, it's just the idea that you consume something you don't enjoy purely to get used to the flavor and actually grow an appreciation for it seems kind of weird like logically why would anyone want to do that i don't know man is this the idea of the acquired taste i also see people use that go oh uh it's an acquired taste and what they mean by it is is that i'm they, i'm pretty sure it's good but i don't like it <laughs> that's a lot of times what people mean when they say oh that's an acquired taste some animals eat certain things because there's nothing else to eat, so there's plenty for them. That's true, I suppose. When I was in my 20s, I liked sour things. Now I only want sweet things. Huh. I see, I see. Not that I don't I believe that. I do believe that, that people do come around to things. Like how there's uh, the big popularity of how kids don't eat vegetables. That's a thing, right? For a while. Not that it's not a thing anymore, but I feel like... It's not as common for kids to be like, oh, I don't want to eat vegetables. And then they grow up and it's like, oh, they, they start eating it. Eventually, they, they, I guess, acquire the taste. Like koalas with eucalyptus, no other animals eat it. Isn't it because eucalyptus is poisonous and the koala is the only animal that could process it properly? As a culture, I guess it would probably be because of the culture's taboo or norms, I guess. Like the story that this one family always bought a certain beer for family gatherings. 
because everyone thought everyone liked it. But it turns out after someone asked, no one actually liked it and only bought drank it because everyone thought everyone else liked it. <laughs> Kushman, I think I read that story on Reddit, dude. I think I read that story on Reddit. They evolved like that over a long time. So they grew to grow a tolerance for the poison. Wait, wait, wait. Is eucalyptus actually poisonous? I think I, I, I remember reading that. I'm just not 100% sure if that's actually the case. It's, it's kind of crazy, man. It's just the idea of an acquired taste just seems, seems kind of insane. Oh, we we're ready. Oh, nice. Nice. We still have glass left over. Alright, man. We're going to get some pixel packs because you guys want it. Alright, alright. We're letting the CO2 kind of settle. The chlorine's dropping back down. That's a good sign. And I need to start pressurizing the oxygen. Or at least I would want to. Oh, I guess I could do another cooling loop in here. That's not too bad. Hey, you're the one that called it boring. Hey, man. We went from boring to maximum RGB, dude. That's a big jump. Just saying. <laughs> we went from boring to maximize the RGB. Only most resist koala survive, so they uh, not starved like the others. Oh, I see, I see. So that's just the evolutionary thing. Okay, okay. And then I need a bridge somewhere. Probably here. So bam, bam. I'll put it on this one then. Basically, things are just strange. Guys, have you guys seen Stranger Things? I haven't seen it. It sounds like it's getting wild. <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> I haven't seen it, man. I haven't seen it. Is it worth? Is it worth the watch? Is it worth the watch? And I don't have Netflix. I tried to watch it, but I couldn't get into it. Okay. I've heard good things about it. Yeah, I've heard... I see I see a lot of people talk about Stranger Things all the time. It's just that it's like... Every time I see a trailer, every time I see like clips of the show, I have no idea what's going on. And it's like... What's happening? I like the nostalgia factor. For the nostalgia factor, best show by far. So as a 90s kid, I would appreciate it. Is that the case? Is that the case? That if I were a 90s kid, I would appreciate it? Like, is am I old enough to get nostalgia? I think you would. I'm also a 90s kid. Okay, okay. Of all the episodes are out, so you could uh, binge the whole thing. <laughs> I love binge watching, man. I really do. Oh, there's no power here. My bad. However you spell binge. Uh, B-I-N-G-E. You spell the beige, which is the color of khakis. You get a free week trial and binge it all and cancel. 
<laughs> Sounds like we're back to the 90 strats. Hey man, can I borrow your net zero internet disk today? I gotta reinstall for the free trial. Yeah man, you could give back to me tomorrow because I gotta reinstall tomorrow too. Y'all remember those days? Where you would install net zero, dude? Just so that you get internet for a day? Dude, those were the days, man. Getting the net zero free trials. Getting that dial up, dude. That's how you know you're a 90s kid. If you didn't do that, are you really a 90s kid? As a 70s kid, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Yo, man. Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow, you remember Air Supply, man? Weren't they hot back in the, the 80s? Y'all remember Air Supply? I should remember Binge Eater from this game. That's true. Binge Eater is a thing, man. I remember my mom being pissed when I was on the computer and she didn't call her, uh, she couldn't call her friends because of the dial up. Oh my god. Dude, I remember would, I would get pissed because I would be playing StarCraft late at night and then my mom would just pick up the phone, hear the static, and you know, put the phone back down. But at that point, I'm already disconnected. <laughs> I hated that. Oh man, StarCraft, let's go. Zerg Rush, oh DC, not like this. Every time, man. Every time. I hated that as a kid, man. Randomly, internet goes out. Oh, it's actually going down. I might want to actually start consuming more water then. These two being at 20 should help them. We're burning through more water that way. And I guess we could lower this down to 24. Right in the middle of the download too. Oh yeah, that's the worst if you're downloading something. <laughs> and then boom, just like that. Never experienced any of that. I'm actually sad. Born in 96. Oh, I think at that time, uh, well, not at that time, but from that age, you would probably have to be like 12 years old plus that. And at that time, by the time you hit 12, Buzzly, DSL started to become commercial. So, you know, regular houses would have DSL. And then you would probably never have to experience those days that dial up. <laughs> Right outside the cusp of uh, how that works. Gotta remember taking like 10 minutes to load. Dude. Man, internet was bad back in the days. Like actually waiting. I, I remember one of the popular websites I would go to was GameFAQs. Because I, w I would look for like cheat codes and guides for some of the games I was playing. And just waiting for some of those to load, dude, was a travesty. It, it was like, dude, it's just a text document. <laughs> it's just it's just a dot PNG file, man. What's what's why is it struggling? And it would take forever, man. That's like I'm just trying to beat Star Fox 64 and get the hidden path. Come on, man. I need to learn about this. <laughs> and it was tough. I want to get all hard events in Harvest Moon 64. Like like, come on, man. What's the best way to make money in Harvest Moon? You know things like that. Go to GameFAQs, IGN, the old school websites. They're probably still alive now, though. Oh, man. Team DX, man. You, you didn't have the uh, OG television strats, huh? Back in the day, all television came from the same cable. So you could go to, like, if you even, even if you didn't have cable, what they did was... They had the, uh, you know, adult entertainment stuff on like a weird channel. And what they would do was just static it out. So I remember there were, there were times where I was at the homie's house and then he hit, he hit a triple digit number because a lot of the times back in the day, it was only like two digit numbers for the channels, like MTV, you know, things like that. The news was on single digit channels. And it was just mad static. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, I think I see a titty. Something like that. And, you know, kids being kids. Kids being kids. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Nah, man, it was always, it was always staticky for us. 
always staticky. Yo, man, for you to be able to see the good quality, I feel like you had to have been patient, waiting or hunting out the channels, man. I, we, we, we never got to that point. <laughs> I see you over there, Team DX. I see you over there. Did you ever play the original Animal Crossing? I did. The original Animal Crossing was great. I played Harvest Moon 64, original Animal Crossing on the GameCube. That was actually great. There was also... Uh... Smash was great. The original GoldenEye 007 on the N64 was amazing. Uh... As a kid... Playing snowboarding kids, army men, Sarge's heroes, or uh, Mario Kart, Mario Party with the homies was always a fun time. My friend had a black box that had all the channels. Oh, I see you over there. You had the original Xbox. <laughs> I believe that's what they were called back in the day. The X rated box, all the channels. Ahead of its time, it was. It was still a great game, though. I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, I believe they called that the Xbox, man. Because it wasn't an Xbox like what we have now, but it was short for X-rated box. I believe that's what it was nicknamed or something like that. If you guys are familiar with that. Alright, so I am going to start sieving a little bit of water. And... Whoa, well, that was salt water? Why do I have brine here? Alright, I am going to extract that. Alright, and now this should be fine. My parents never let me have video games, so I had to go to my friend's house to play anything. Dude, I feel that, man. I feel that. Not having uh, the video games at home, you had to go to the friend's house. See, my friend, though, at the time, uh, lived literally across the street from my house. So, I only got hand-me-downs, and for the longest time, I only had the Super Nintendo. And that's because my, my siblings got it, but they didn't want to play with it anymore, so I got it instead. And PlayStation was already out, Nintendo 64 was already out, GameCube came out, and I was still on the Super Nintendo. And then uh, my friend had a GameCube, so we would go over to his place and N64, and we would play all the time at his house. Same thing, man. And it was because uh, he had younger brothers and sisters, so they were hyped out about the video games, versus like my siblings were a lot older. Super Nintendo to the 64 to the Xbox. That's not bad. My first PC was uh, Carmageddon. Carmageddon? Is that Carmen San Diego? First PC game was Oni? No way. No way. Your first PC game was Oni? That's impressive, man. Not even Solitaire. My brother had the original Game Boy, and I would occasionally steal. Oh, man. Dude. Dude, I. Dude. The Game Boy was, was such a bad time. I remember I got a Game Boy for my birthday. Not not the original. It was when the Game Boy Color came out. And I got Pokemon. And I loved it. Now, one day, I, I was... Uh, I think I was at summer school or something. And I wasn't home. And apparently, I had some cousins come over or something. And they played my Pokemon game. And you know what they did? They saved over my file, dude. That shit was like the most aggravating. I'm like, oh my god, all my progress. You know how many hours I took to freaking grind my Pikachu? I had the yellow version. I like, I, I wanted to, to be like Ash, right? So I wanted to beat Brock with Pikachu. So I grind it to like level 20 until I learned slam because like you couldn't you, you wouldn't be able to do anything which like thundershock <laughs> so it was like oh my god like so much time I spent grinding dude and they just kind of saved over and I was pissed I was pissed 
But man, the Game Boy. I have a lot of fond memories about it. Eventually, though, I got the Game Boy Advance, played Golden Sun, and uh, Harvest Moon, the uh, Friends of Mineral Town. That was always super fun as well. Yeah, especially since the first gym was Rock Ground. It was, it was a tough time, man. 